also learned this morning of another major loss in our industry. Wow. Hall of Fame trainer John Nehru died today at the age of 102. Yeah. He's most famous, I think, inextricably linked to Dr. Fager, but unbridled, quite American. I mean, look at that. Fapiano. Yeah, look, I mean, look at that lineup. I mean, and just think about the influence of those horses, not only on the racetrack, but as stallions mm -hmm. over the years. Uh, Dr. Fager, yeah, I, I agree. That's uh, that's the one that he'll always be remembered for. Dr. Fager's 1968 campaign. You, you can say that there have been horses that were as good mm -hmm. for years. A spectacular bid in 1980 mm -hmm. comes to mind, but no one better. No one has ever been better for an entire year than Dr. Fager was in 1968 when he was the horse of the year, he was the champion older male, he was the champion sprinter, and by virtue of one race on the turf, the United Nations at Atlantic City, he was the champion grass horse. Because no if, one was if, going to beat him. If they let him jump over things, he'd have been that too. Yeah. <laughs> well, the most amazing thing about it was the, this was back in the handicap era, and when John Arrowhead is saddling him, every time he raced him, he had to saddle him with more weight. He had, uh, had never carried less than, what, 130 pounds? In, his, in that championship campaign of 1968, he never carried less than 130 pounds. The final start of his racing career was in the 1968 Bosberg. He went 120 and 1. He went wire to wire for seven furlongs. He went 107 and 4 for six furlongs. 120 and 1 was the final clocking. He carried 139 pounds that day. We are not going to see his like again. No, we would not, but we will see it just now as we take a look at the 1968 Whitney. There is no audio, but there's a look at uh, the great Dr. I'm guessing that's him in Fager. front. <laughs> that, that is indeed him, and uh, spotty footage, but footage nonetheless of one of the greatest racehorses of all time. Yeah. He literally just ran off the screen there. Yeah, there he goes. Well, okay, apparently at that point, the, that track was one of those tracks that likes to focus on the horses that are For the minor awards, you know who's going to win. All right. John Nehru, dead at the age of 100. But, and can, can I say that, that uh, I, I was surprised, not... I'd read an article a couple of years back when, when John was in his mid to late 90s that uh, it surprised me because it was pointing out that he was still very, very active as, as a breeder and owner of racehorses. And even as recently as a couple of months ago, I was looking at a post parade. It was probably a race somewhere on the Naira circuit, and I had to do a double take because there he was. He was listed as the, the owner and the, the breeder of the horse. So he, he lived a good, long life. And he was very, very active in the game that he loved right up until uh, the very end. And, you know, his, uh, his son, mm -hmm. Jan, was a, a trainer of some note as well. He trained a lot of uh, John's horses back in the, the 80s, I want to say. He uh, trained Cousine, who won the, 85, uh, won the 85 Breeders' Cup. There you go. It was a homebred for, uh, for John Nehru. Uh, at any rate, we lost one of the greats in our game today.